The Scorpio. It's been one of the biggest launches of the year and I don't remember the last time so many people stopped and asked me questions while driving a car. And it's dominating social media as well. I mean, my most popular post on Instagram is now a picture of this new Scorpio and my old ex Scorpio together. And I want to make it abundantly clear this video is not a comparison test or some feature between the new and the old. But you have to draw a parallel somewhere. And it got me thinking. We've driven the automatics, but every single call that I've received about the new Scorpio has been about people wanting to buy the manual. But I'm not surprised because a diesel manual Scorpio, well, that's their mainstay, isn't it? Which is why this video will all be about the diesel manual, the Scorpio that a wide variety of people will buy. That dude who wants to, let's go to lay bro. That person who just wants a rough and tumble SUV that can take a bit of abuse. That guy in Punjab who will put a set of 22s on it and of course, that rural audience who single-handedly keeps an automaker like Mahindra true to its roots. SUV engines undergo a lot of stress both in city driving and on tough terrains, particularly during warm-up, in stop-start traffic and of course while carrying heavy loads. Ordinary car oils may not be enough for your SUV and that is why we recommend fully synthetic Castrol Magnetic SUV for superior protection. could be wrong but this could very well be one of the first times that somebody's actually got their hands on the manual. Although we don't tom tom about our scoops unless of course it's ice cream. Preferably served by Selena Gomez. 175 horsepower and that's the exact same figure that you get on the automatic as well. Torque though is slightly lower, 370 Newton meters as compared to 400. But then it's still higher than what you get on the Tata Safari or the Harrier or even the Jeep Compass. And of course, a lot higher than what you get on the Hyundai's and Kia's. So if you are going to play a game of top trumps with your friends, you're just going to beat them hands down. Now let's get one thing straight out of the way though. If it was me buying a car, any car, at any price point, I'd buy an automatic. You know, I really get the charm of a manual gearbox. Don't get me wrong, I really do. But if driving 20 kilometers every evening is gonna take me two hours, I'd rather have rested legs in general. I don't want one calf looking bigger than the other. It's like having one wrist looking bigger than the other if you catch my drift. Now even with this being as modern as it gets for a body on frame SUV, this is still as old school as one can make an SUV in 2022. And so yes, the clutch effort is going to be a little bit higher than what one would expect. But it is still good. Would you really want the clutch effort of say a small hatchback in a car as big as this. I mean, imagine how jumpy it would really get. That said, I would have liked a shorter throw between gears and uh, yes, it's better than it's ever been, but it still isn't say as crispy as what you'd get in some of its rivals in the same price point. But that's fine. Flip side though, that old school feel people, it's still here and it's so lovable in a strange sort of way. 
you know at no point on this drive have i felt the lack of power or torque and yes at highway speeds in sixth gear it does sit a little higher in the rev range as compared to what i would have liked but then legally you aren't even supposed to be at those speeds in the first place and truth be told every phone call i have received has asked me one question without fail is it really tough i said in my first review that it was and i even made a point by honing it around this though this version this package right here this really hammers that point in tough as nails is the phrase isn't it this then is the hammer that hammers those nails in You know I think I'm about to give a conclusion that I don't think I've ever given on video or I've ever told somebody to do when they buy a new car. I don't think you need to buy the top of the line Scorpio to get the full Scorpio experience anymore. For the first time I'm actually going to say that even the second from bottom or the Z4 variant nothing to do with BMW here is actually good enough you've got the mechanicals that you need you've got the gearbox options that you need you've got the drive train options that you need and you've got apple carplay what more does a man need whatever you do though buy one in black